this piece is called Tiny Glow Screens Part 2. There's 7 billion, 46 million people on the planet, and most of us have the audacity to think we matter. Hey! You hear the one about the comedian who croaked? They stabbed him in the heart. Just a little poke, but he keeled over because he went into battle wearing chain mail made of jokes. Hey! You hear the one about the screenwriter who passed away? He was giving elevator pitches and the elevator got stuck halfway. He ended up, getting, he ended up eating smushed sandwiches they pushed through a crack in the doorway and repeating the same crappy screenplay idea about talking dogs till his last day. Hey! You hear the one about the fisherman who passed? He didn't jump off that ledge, he just stepped out into the ground and then pushed the air up towards him really fast like he was pitching a line but fishing for concrete, the earth is a drum and he's hitting it on beat. The reason they're smog in Los Angeles is because if we could see the stars, if we could see the context of the universe in which we exist and we could see how small each one of us really is against the vastness of what we don't know, then nobody would ever audition for a McDonald's commercial again and then where would we be? No frozen dinners and no TV and is that a world we want to text in? Either someone just microwave pop Corn, or I hear the sound of a thousand people pulling the heads out of their asses in rapid succession. The people are hunched over in Boston. They're studying screen printing companies and app stores in San Francisco. They're grinning in Los Angeles like they got fish hooks in the corners of their mouth. But don't paint me like the good guy because every time I write, I get to choose the angle that you view me and select the nicest light. You would not respect me if you heard the typewriter chatter tap, tap, tapping through my mind at night the same stupid tape loop of old sitcom dialogue and tattered memories and some girl I got to grind at in high school filed carefully on rice paper in my heart is a colored pencil, but my brain is an eraser. I don't want a real girl. I want a tracer from a catalog. Truth be told, I'm unlikely to hold you down. Cause my soul is a crowded subway train and people keep deciding to get on the next one that rolls through town. I'm joining a false movement in San Francisco. I'm frowning and hunched over in Boston. I'm grinning in Los Angeles like I got fish hooks in the corners of my mouth. And I'm celebrating on weekends because there are 7 billion, 47 million people on the planet and I have the audacity to think that I matter. I know that it's a lie, but I prefer to the alternative because I got and I'm burning and you say go to sleep but I've been bouncing up my bedroom walls since I was hecka small where every agent wants to tucked inside ourselves like Russian nesting dolls my mother is an 8 year old girl my grandson is a 74 year old retiree whose kidneys just failed and that is the glue between me and you that is the screws and nails we live in a house made of each other and if that sounds strange that's because it is will somebody please freeze time so I can run around turning everyone's pockets inside out and remember you didn't see shit. Thanks, <laughs> hey, guys. Do you want to introduce the other poets? Go for it.